Hello and welcome to this A-level option choice video for digital technology here at RADA IT and Computer Science Faculty. What is digital technology? Well, it's a brand new qualification that's just been introduced by the WGAC. It was created because after consultation with employers across the UK, they noticed that there was a shortfall in digital technology skills. And these are the skills that are going to be required for the world of work from now on. They are going back from they're going away from the older, more traditional IT based skills now to more relevant digital technology skills, which are going to be highly desirable by employers. What skills will you learn? Well, you'll find out more about those skills as later on in this video, but they are going to be skills that are going to be relevant and applicable to the world of work from now on. This is the modern world. This is moving into the future. And these are the skills you'll be looking at. So why would I be interested? you're doing a qualification. No matter what area you choose to pursue, may not be traditionally IT based after you do Digitech, but whatever you choose to pursue, these skills will be key and integral to you being highly desirable to any employer in the future. Course structure, year 12, we do two units, both worth 20% of the qualification. Innovate, innovation in digital technology and then create a digital practice. In year 13, we look at connected systems and then a digital solutions unit. They are worth 30% each. So 40% of your qualification is in year 12, 60% in year 13. But would you like to know more about these things? This is some of the theory you'll be looking at. Digital technology, we look at how networks, we look at how data is integrated into everything we do. We look at how computers and digital technology systems are integral to the networks, the social media that we use, and the world of work and socially. We look at things like cloud computing and how that plays a role in business, but also at home. We look at things like robotics and how robotics are playing such an integral role in improving the world that we live in. We look at cybercrime. We look at things like cybersecurity, ethical hacking, and how important it is to look after our digital footprint. We look at artificial intelligence and how it is playing a key role in improving society, technology, and the world of work. We look at devices now they improve. A key part of digital technology is opening your eyes to new roles that are that are becoming available in the world of work. We look at things like app development, we, how social media consultants and 3D printing engineers, how these jobs and these roles can open up to you now that you have the digital technology based skills. There's a whole new world of work out there. There's a whole new world of opportunity. And this course starts you on a path towards that. So you're 12. You just saw some of the theory we look at in both year 12 and year 13. In year 12, unit one is called Innovation in Digital Technology. It's worth 20% of the qualification, and this is all based on an on-screen examination. I'll just stop right there. That's an on-screen examination. That's not paper-based pen and paper. We're talking about everything is done digitally. So if you don't like sitting down with that pen and that paper, then this qualification approaches its theory and it's exam at the end of it digitally. It's quite an interesting way of doing things. You might be much better on a keyboard than you are writing extended writing on a pen with paper. Range of question types. Some of the topics we covered, how connected digital systems operate, development and impact of artificial intelligence, the life cycle of digital technologies, how, th how digital technology is created, how it goes through a cycle and then sort of improves or becomes obsolete and gets replaced by something else. We look at social media and its impact on our lives. All very interesting bits of theory, all very relevant bits of theory. This isn't dry topics. This is all things that apply to you right now. Then we look at unit two. Unit two is the controlled assessment. It's the non-exam assessment. So this is the hands-on practical things. It's worth 20% of the qualification. And the range of skills learned, well, game maker. That's right. We use a bit of software called Game Maker 2. You're going to 
plan, design, create, and evaluate a game of your own making. That's everything from the ground up is created by you. From the design stage, creating the characters, creating the maps, creating the worlds, creating the rules, to the programming, to the evaluation of that game. All really relevant, all really interested, all really important skills in the world of work. There we go. Year 13, we look at Unit 3, which is Creative Digital Practices. 30% of the qualification, and again, this is another on-screen exam. This is a theory-based element. And what we look at in this element is things like collecting, storing, analyzing, and using data. How we get, how data is used by various companies, how, how, how it's used to improve things, okay? And how we analyze things to, to, to maybe tailor products more for certain, certain people, and things like that. We look at cybersecurity, as I mentioned, the role of ethical hacking is really interesting right now, really important. We look at the way that different countries approach sort of cybersecurity, look at the way different companies approach cybersecurity and the importance of cybersecurity specialists. And also the huge amount of money they make too. And then we look at digital technology networks, how networks play a key integral role in everything we do digitally today. So that's your exam. Then we move on to unit four, another non-exam assessment. It's another piece of coursework. Again, it's called Digital Solutions, and it's worth 30% of the qualification. The range of skills learned? Well, web design and creation. That's right. We're going to be using a piece of software called Adobe Dreamweaver in combination with Photoshop and some database backend. You are going to make a fully functional transactional website. This is a website that isn't just sort of, oh, it looks a bit pretty, but has no functionality. This is a fully functional website. You could go online with it, and as it's a transactional website, it is based around e-commerce. We're going to be raking a website that you could use to sell products, to look at things, to log in, build accounts, and then also have people look through the products that you, that you want them to look at, choose what they want, add them to the shopping basket, and go through that full e-commerce transactional element. This isn't just a basic level website. This is a fully integrated transactional website. This is a big deal. You'll be looking at how you create it, how you create images that make your website stand out. This isn't going to look like anything else you've created before. This is going to look like a fully functioning website and you will create it from the ground up, from the planning through to the deployment, to the programming, coding, to the creative. So actually making it look good, creating images that go on that website that really put across professionalism and the high standard of work that you will be creating. Quick course overview. Four unit study. 50% is on-screen exams. Again, on-screen exams, not paper and pen. 50% is coursework, non-exam assessment. Game design, web design and creation. Those are not boring things. Even if you're not interested hugely in one element, you might be interested in the other element. You've got to remember there's lots of different tasks and elements that each bits of these controlled assessments and there will be something for you in there. They're all hugely relevant, they're all hugely based around skills that you're going to need. Okay, interesting theory. This isn't dry theory. We're talking about robotics, we're talking about artificial intelligence, we're talking about social media. This isn't, you know, talking about floppy disks or you know how computers started in in you know in the early days we're talking about now we're talking about the future where is it going this is interesting stuff and we're talking we learn game making and we learn web site development not just at a little entry level we are hitting it high professional standard is what we're looking for and what you will start and what you will learn and deploy. So next steps, 
speak to your family have a good conversation about this speak to you know close friends talk about it again this is a brand new course so you can't really talk to anybody who's doing the course right now but you can have an idea if there's any one element of what i've talked about then this is the course for you don't make the wrong choice don't just choose this because all your friends are doing it like i said if there's one part of what i've talked about in the theory or in the controlled assessment that you're interested in then choose the course make the right choice like i said this is this is the skills that employers are looking for and it's not just boring you know um put together a presentation or a powerpoint this or, or a poster this is game design at a high level this is web design web creation and this is theory that is interesting relevant and important get in touch with us there's all of our email addresses you know what they are you know where we are in school we're all approachable we want to talk about this qualification because i hope you can see i think this qualification is incredible it's brand new we've been waiting for this a long time it's right up our alley it's what we do we've got experience in this and you are going to do great things if you take it and that's it the journey begins i really hope to see you back with us the it and computer science faculty hope you enjoyed and we'll definitely see you soon bye now